The Gordon and Walcott Memorial Methodist School has been adopted by the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank ECCB, as a mentorship school under its community outreach program. The mentorship program seeks out avenues for the school and ECCB to work collaboratively to improve student performance and confidence. The National Competitiveness and Productivity Council NCPC, was invited to speak to the grade 6 students of the school on the topic Procrastination Kills Productivity as they prepare to write the common entrance examination. ECCB's resident representative and country manager in St. Lucia is Sharon Ferdinand. We have a program in place, but the good thing about it is that you are given the leeway to do what works for you in country. And so in St. Lucia, because of the amount of, of stuff they have during the term, I found it easier, Ms. Gabriel and I, this was the principal of the, of the school, we found it easier to collaborate and work in areas that she needs assistance. Now I had seen your program on TV where you had done the procrastination presentation for secondary school and so I reached out to your unit to ask them if they would like to collaborate. Communication specialist of the NCPC, Glenn Simon, said raising productivity levels requires the involvement of all stakeholders, with students being a key stakeholder. He added the topic procrastination kills productivity, though a simple one, has profound implications for one's goals, aspirations, and level of success. My presentation really focused on how to get them to recognize that they don't, don't put off things that you could do now for later and it will affect them in the future. They could start off together in this place, but they will not end up the same place just because of the level of productivity, the level, level of discipline, the focus. And so I hope that it made an impact because what we want to do at the Productivity Council is help increase the productivity levels within the country. And if we could get it by focusing on students who are stakeholders within the society on how they could improve their productivity and how they could improve it by reducing their procrastination, we would love that because the society on a whole would benefit. Grade 6 teacher Diane LaForce noted that the presentation was apt for her students, who she said needed to focus more, now more than ever, in preparation for the common entrance examination. It's timely because the students, they were just preparing for the exam in the next well, a few weeks time. And I believe that looking at the videos and listening to what you had to say to them this morning, they will realize that procrastination really affects their work. And if they don't um, begin working now, they will not succeed in the future. Grade 6 students Lamars Edwin and Destiny Duncan expressed their views on what they gathered from the presentation. It will help me because now I know that when you procrastinate, when you procrastinate, you don't do very well at school because you because you'll always be putting off practice to be better at what you're doing. Since I've gotten the presentation, I believe that Procrastination is not a very good thing and when you procrastinate, you don't get any work done. So it's a lot harder for you to focus and understand what the teacher is talking about at the time. The National Competitiveness and Productivity Council was established to identify key issues related to competitiveness and productivity in St. Lucia and provide timely and effective recommendations to policymakers, the private sector and other stakeholders. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.